This is a video by Richpin. Today we are working on a Yamaha 4x4 Wolverine 450. This thing just got dropped off. Boy, I tell you, it's got mud all over it. it looks pretty new to me. Uh, I'm going to have to research this. Um, the vehicle was driven, put away, stored, and now it will not start. So we got our work cut out for us. First thing we're going to do is pump up these tires, they're flat, and then wash it down and then uh, go from there. Alright, now we've got our quad washed up as best as we could. Now we have no key, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that ignition down to the locksmith and have some keys made for it. So the first thing we need to do is get this seat off. The release lever is underneath here. Take that out of the way. And the next thing we need to do is take the fuel tank cover off so we can get behind there and disconnect those wires we have to disconnect. Now the first bolts we're going to remove are these two bolts one on each side in this location. They are four millimeter headed Allen bolts. And we need to remove those now. Next we need to remove this bolt right here. It is a um, four millimeter Allen head and there'll be one on each side. And what I'm doing is I'm labeling them so we get them back in the same position and there is one six millimeter right down here and there's one on the other side also so we need to remove those now now that we have those bolts out we should be able to remove this cover and back here we have a couple of tongue and groove pieces that go in and then you got this piece on the gas tank you got to get it by and then we've, when we're just about there we want to remove our fuel cap like such All right. just like that fuel cap on right quick now we're looking for the electrical connector to the ignition switch and there it is right there that connector so let's pull it out a little bit so we can get at it There it is, and you can see there is a little lock right there. Push that in. Don't tug on the wires. Oh boy. Okay. Gonna be stubborn, huh? There we go. Now let's pull our dashboard, you call this a dashboard, all it does is it just clips onto the handlebars, pull that up, and we've got our vent tube from our gas tank. There it is. She's all out. Look what I found underneath there. One of those crazy, crazy bugs again. What did one of my friends say? It's a uh, Cofagus seed beetle? Western Cofagus seed beetle or something like that. These things are all over the place. How the heck did this thing get between the handlebars in this piece. And it's alive too. Look at this. Watch. 
Wake up. Wake up, pal. You hibernating for the winter? Look at him. All right, we got to uh, remove that lock cylinder from this little piece. Uh, what do I got here for a socket? I got a 1 and a 16th socket. Yeah, I know, it's metric, but this will work. Only hand tight. What is that, a plastic nut? Yeah, it's a plastic nut. We don't want to over tighten that. And of course, she's keyed here. So we can only go in one way. Okay, there it is. And somewhere on here, there should be a number. I have to clean it up a little bit. Hello, everybody. Just back from the locksmith. We got our keys. Look at that. Two of them. Beautiful, huh? We're in business now. And uh, she said it only cost us 15 for labor, 450 for the keys. Can't go wrong with that. All right, let's get this sucker back together. All right, now we want to drain the uh, gasoline from the tank here. It's probably old and stale. So we want to make sure that the fuel valve is pa facing forward. And that will turn it off. And then we can pull the line off the carburetor here. And we have a hose here with a connector on it. Put that in there, and we have a jug here on the floor. Now what we're going to do is turn it up to reserve. And there it is. Let that drain. Now we got most of our fuel out of the tank. There's just a little bit in there. We could take the tank off, or we could use a little vacuum pump right here. Get in there. And there we go. Oh, geez, look at that stuff. Not too good, huh? Okay. So we'll get the rest out like that. Next thing we want to do is drain the carburetor bowl right here just in case there is something in there. We've got a container here to catch it. There's an eight millimeter drain bolt right there. All right, I don't see anything coming out. All right, so you know what we're gonna do is when we fill the gas in, we're gonna recrack that drain just to make sure that everything is clean in there. Before we put any of our bodywork back on, this would be a good time to um, check our spark plug and our air filter. Here is the top of the air box right here. Let's get this little vent hose out of the way. And it's held on by four clips. clean that filter and there is no water in the box so that's a good sign All right. now we're going to take the spark plug out what I did is I cleaned all around the boot and the spark plug because we don't want to drop any dirt in there okay. 
be very interesting to see what this looks like. Okay. Ooh. Jeez. That don't look good. Oh yeah. We're gonna need a new plug. Filed. Who knows? Could have ran. Could have ran with the choke on. You don't know. That's a good reason why it's probably n didn't start for him. Okay. Well, now we know. We need a new plug. I just filled the fuel in the tank, and I opened up the drain. And look at nothing is coming out. What I suspect is going on is we have a stuck needle into the seat in the carb. We have to take that off and take a look. Here's a lesson for all you people out there. Drain the gas or put stable in. Look at this needle. Wow, that should fall out of there. Look at all the gum on that. All right, clean it up. Should be in business after that, hopefully. All righty, gas tank's all on, seat's on. Everything should be functional. Let's see if we can start this baby up. Gas on. Now, let's see. Kill on. Choke on full. Key on. Uh, here we go. Come on, baby. Stop. Yeah! Oh, ho, ho, baby! When was the last time that thing started? Somebody's going to be very happy. Okay, that's a wrap. That's all there is to fixing your Yamaha Wolverine quad.